this is a happy home with happy, smiley people. Eh? Please? Yeah, Tracy, it's Saturday tomorrow, and you don't need to lose your extra allowance money on whacking anyone. Too right, I'll just get Maxie to whack you on Sunday. I'm starving. There's biscuits over there and some bananas. We need calories, Mike, not monkey food. <laughs> We're growing lads. Hey, 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 hang on. These haven't even been iced yet. Okay, Tracy. Elaine wants to have a word with you. She's in the office about this evening. I've already told her. There's no way she's coming to my parents' evening to talk to my teacher. No way at all. She is your social worker. It's her job. My dad saw all my stuff last night. He cares, you see. Hey, so does Elaine. She's actually very concerned about your schooling, Tracy. Not surprised. How about it looks like something the cat sicked up? Excuse me, Miss Fluffhead. I'm top of the class. In fact, they want to get me in to teach the teachers. I'm so unbelievably clever. Tracy. Elaine. I understand where you're coming from. That's good, Elaine. You're really getting the hang of this job now. All I'm trying to say is you've been trying really hard to normalise your behaviour. Now, I appreciate that. We all do. Thanks. And because you've got loads of ticks on the bonus money allowance chart, you'll get two extra pounds this weekend. Miss Sharp and I will just have a little chat about ways you can improve your schoolwork too. Now, I need your appointment form. Let's see what time she's put me down for. Tracy! Come on, give it to me. You don't want to risk any bonus allowance with any negative behaviour. I'll ring the school. Wait, I mean, if you really want to go, the time is six o'clock. Yo, don't do that! Is it tea time? Don't just come here at tea time. I'll come to see my mates. Can I have one of them? Help yourself. One one, Peter. What's up? Barry Mackin. Who? Barry Mackin, the six-foot gorilla bully boy in my class. Miss Sharp didn't half tell him off about ripping your coat. She's going to talk to his mum tonight. Am I going to get it on Monday? I'll buff him up for you, Peter. That will only make things worse. Yeah, if you bite his kneecaps, you'll really make him angry. He keeps picking on me. He calls me nerd boy. You don't think I'm nerd, do you, Ben? No way. It's just... Well, your jumper is, um... I like it in that, but it's a bit old-fashioned. And my dad's got shoes like that. No one picks on Maxie. I'll sort you out, Peter. Thanks, Maxie. Six o'clock, then. Anything you want me to tell Miss Sharp? Um, she walks like a hippo and smells of mints. I shall pretend you didn't say that, Tracy. Oh, Justine, they look delicious. Did you make them? No. Well, they look, well, look nice, anyway. Are you going spare? In the kitchen. Starving. See you later, Tracy. Poor Tracy Beaker. Ever had a cake face, Pat Justine? All alone in the world with only Elaine the Pain to watch over her. My mum could turn up at the last minute. She'll turn up in real style. And then you'll all be sorry. In your dreams. And if she doesn't go, it's because they won't let her off the film set. When you're starring in a blockbuster, you can't just suddenly disappear whenever you want to. Looks like you're stuck with Elaine, then. That's what you think. Actually, I've made other arrangements. Oh, like who? The Invisible Man? Or maybe Maxie in a long coat standing on Zach's shoulders? You'll see. And what's more, it's someone who will sort out old Miss Pointy Nose. <laughs> Tracy Beaker, the next time you want to tie-dye your T-shirt, keep your paws off my food colouring. OK, Justine. Mm. Mike. 
These are fabulous. Couldn't pinch the last one, could I? I've got such a busy schedule. What with Tracy's parents' evening, I won't get a chance to eat. She won't be getting a very good report from her teacher, though. Then, what can you expect? Nobody's perfect, Elaine. Put this on. It's a bit small. That'll look all right. Out of there. <laughs> okay, kids, back off. This is a job for an expert. Mm. What we need is some cool threads. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to find and retrieve them. What? what? Go and get him something that fits. Tracy Beaker, am I early? You must be calm. No, you're bang on time. She said you'd come. Well, I wondered if I'd got the wrong day. The car park's half empty. Please, sit down. Well, aren't we going out on the field? I wasn't planning on it. Well, I wasn't sure if you'd have enough, so I bought my own. For the sponsored welly throw? This is actually parents' evening. But Tracy sent me an invitation. She's a very imaginative child, isn't she? Definitely. She's artistic, too. Yeah. She really thinks the world of you. All I get is cam this and cam that. When are you taking her home to foster? Tracy said she'll be moving in any day now. Uh, right. Holiday. Let's see what we're working with. Try this and, and this. Wicked. I told you. Isn't that just things? Oh. I did set the alarm. It was lovely meeting you at last. Thank you. Bye. Bye. We were thinking of having a sponsored skip next term. Oh, sorry, I really have to go. Bye. I will. Thank you very much. Let's go. Bye. Jumper. I don't see why I should get rid of it just because one boy teases me. Anyway, that Barry Mackin's got a head like a turnip. I don't see him getting a makeover. Anyway, if he starts anything on Monday, I'm going to show him where to get off. Turnip head? Yeah, sure goes like this. Poor kid. Yeah. 
You really are the limit. Oh, come on, Cam. You wouldn't have gone if I said it was parents' evening. You conned me. Well, you could have thrown a few wellies afterwards. I want a word with you, Tracy Beaker. You gave me the wrong time. Anyone can make a mistake, Elaine. Especially when they want to prevent someone from seeing their teacher. I saw Miss Sharp this evening. You did? So, as you seem to think you're fully qualified to do my job, which was the greatest concern? Her behaviour or her poor work? Oh, excuse me? Actually... Oh, great. Dish the dirt. I don't care. That Miss Sharp's a, a rubbish teacher anyway. Tracy? And you're a rubbish social worker with your stupid bonus allowance money chance. What do you think we are? Poodles jumping through hoops for little doggy treats. And I thought you'd love to come and see my work, just like a real mum would. Forget it. You'd make the world's worst mum anyway. I, I, I'd leave her for a while. It's called time out. So, tell me the worst. Well, there's nothing to tell. She's a very bright girl and Miss Sharp's very pleased with her progress. Well... Your pay fever. You want to cut this grass? You can't bribe me. Hey, you know I don't do bribes or doggy treats. <laughs> Besides, there's no way I'm rewarding you for what you put me through in the shop. Do you know she practically begged me to come in and do cooking with the other mums? Don't you even think about it. Now, Miss Sharp thought you deserved a little prize for your essay, what I did on the weekend. Really? Oh, the one where you and me flew right around the world. We saw it all, didn't we? We had a couple of close shaves, but being such a great team, we pulled through, OK? Yep, that's the one. Maybe this weekend we'll just have a quiet burger and chips in town, though. Row over. Yeah. I think you'd better go and say sorry to Elaine now. I know. I'll put her down for the sponsored skip. <laughs> <laughs>